you, you ready to talk to you. We see you talking to you. Are you talking to you? Are you talking to you? You ready to talk to you. We see you talking to you. Talking to you, I'm talking to you, talking to you. Always, I had to pay homage for that. You know what I mean? Because he didn't have to give me my shot. But you can't act like just because you give a nigga a shot, he can't give him a nigga. You gotta take that shot and put the put the ball in the bucket. You know? Mhm. Okay. And, and to get jerked with the judges and all that, that shit adds to more about who the judging is gonna be for this one and all that. I feel like we should have judges judges pick before. You understand? I feel like all that shit should be picked out before we even get to the stage that... You know what, Cortez? I wouldn't even be a real nigga if I didn't say this shit. I don't like the fact that you cheated Sarah Connor versus Young Daddy. I still hold that against you, low key. You don't like the fact that I cheated what? You cheated Sarah... At a Sarah Connor versus what, Young Daddy? Uh-huh. You, you had Sarah Connor winning. You know goddamn well she ain't winning. Nobody cared about that battle. Nobody, <laughs> yo, bro. Yeah. Sick, and niggas was hyping Sarah Connor. And niggas was like, yo, Sarah Connor got crazy. So I said, all right, I right, go with Sarah Connor. I ain't letting you get that off, bro. I, to, I I gotta tell you face to face, man. I feel like your word. You need to get Sarah Connor for today. Like, all right. <laughs> No, nah, that's what's up. Hey, yo, we had, um, check it out, bro. Fuck it, man. I'm gonna ask you. We had how long math on the talk this day, they uh, differences out. Like, what's your thoughts on all this shit here, man? Like, I was looking at it from the battle rap side. I didn't look at it from the, from the NYB side, like, y'all niggas hanging out. I ain't even looking at it from that kind of perspective. To be real with you. First off, I'm gonna say that everything you was trying to put together in the interview was, like, so hilarious to me. Like, you was trying to figure out with Hollow jumping in the water. It all is like, yo, like, to me it was funny trying to see you piece together the fucking, the fucking story. You, you were so off that it just made me laugh. I'm like, yo, man, this is all the way off. But when it comes to that, I feel like, man, the niggas is talking too much in front of everybody. Simple as that. Like, I feel like they should be on the phone. No disrespect to you, but they shouldn't need yeah. angry fans in order to speak. Yeah, you know I mean that's the biggest thing. People, I think, are mistaken that Math is upset because he battled disaster. No, he's not doing. He's not mad that he battled disaster. He's mad that he had to find out the way he found out. What happened to the communication? Why aren't we talking anymore? That you can't tell me something like that, or that you feel like you can't tell me something like that. Same time, Hollow says he was reaching out to Math. They weren't seeing eye to eye. You know, so. Me knowing both of them, both of them niggas, you know, I just, I just feel like they, I don't know where it went wrong, but they need to speak and not take it to angry fan, not take mm -hmm. it to Twitter. You understand? Mm hmm <laughs> No, I was surprised when Hollow said that shit too. Come on, angry fan. I was like, okay, all right. But it's like, as far as you being cool with math and disaster, like, how do you manage that shit? What do you mean? I mean, how do you manage that shit? How are you cool with what I'm about? Because, nigga, I'm always keep it a buck. I told Disaster when I battled Sharon, and I, I did the blog about this and everything. He came up to me and was like, yo, I don't want it to be like that. I said, well, then you're my man a fair one. Don't Not go good. crazy on the mat. And we cool. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, so, I mean, so that's the, that's the main thing about disaster. Disaster is cool when you're around him. It's when he goes back to Cali, he starts talking crazy, and that's the mm -hmm. shit that irks people. You understand? And that's what I tell him all the time. He be cool when we chilling, like, like it ain't no thing. But I'm, am I gonna be on camera with him, buddy, buddy? No, you're not gonna see me on camera with him, buddy, buddy. You're not gonna see me goofing. You understand? Like even when Ice won the chain, when Ice won the chain. Man, I was in the car all day with Jim smoking, 
And Diz gets in the car. I didn't know that Diz was going to get in the car. Ice is recording it, you know, showing off the chain. You know, and I even told Ice about that. I was like, yo, you know, I had no problems or nothing like that. But, you know, I'd appreciate it if you don't put that out, nigga, because I was in the car smoking a blunt on some. Yo, congratulations, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, nah, I hear you. Nigga, you want your chain, yo, let's light up. You understand? And, and, and then Diz gets in the car, and I'm just like, all right, cool. You feel me? Like, like it's not like, and to be honest with you, math isn't even tight over that shit. You know what I mean? People keep making it seem like math is tight. Nah, math ain't tight over that. Math is just tight over the fact that, damn, you my man, son. You just hold me. And, and and when you talking about giving somebody a bag, because when Hollow the Dawn battles, his bag's involved. So you're giving disaster a bag. If you're gonna give him a bag, bro, then it's only right that maybe you try to negotiate something there. It's like, yo man, can we settle this? Can we shoot a five? Can we settle it? Can we get y'all on the phone? Something, bro. Mm-hmm. You know? And disaster would have went for that. Disaster would have for that because he told me he wants the enemy. You understand? Money over this shit, I would think, right? Well, how do you a lot of battles? Math can't get a booking in the West Coast. Then exactly. Because people don't want to book them. And that's another thing. And that's another thing that you have to think about it. Math can't even get booked in, in, in Vegas. Math can't get booked in L.A., of course. And then Math can't even get booked in, like, the Bay Area. Like, these places are, like, five, six hours away from each other. You understand? It's still Cali, but it's hours away. But mind you, he got booked in Boston. That's, that's, that's where it was like, my nigga, how you going to let him get eat on, on, on the East Coast? They don't let me eat on the West Coast. Let me settle this shit now when I see him in Boston so that I can start getting bookings in L.A. And niggas can get back to getting to the money. You understand? Uh, so, so, um, I, yeah, I just don't get it. It's wild because it's business, it's business shit, and I'm pretty sure you was cool with this. But you're cooler with math than this. But that shit just got to be awkward as fuck for you to be around a nigga like that. Well, that, well that's with, that whole, with that whole situation, with that whole situation, you know, people got to feed their families. You know what I mean? And if I wasn't on URL at the time, I, I had to eat and I'm battling on King of the Dot. So I got to go where the money is. You understand? We got kids. There's, there's other shit going on. So, all right, cool. You're not going to trip on that. And that's why. You know what I mean? But I wasn't hiding nothing or not trying to, like, tell math any Like, nah, nigga, I kept it. Yo, boy, keep it a buck. These niggas called me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You awesome. you from the rip. I, uh, that's how I always am. That's how, that's how it needs to be. Mm. Why wouldn't it be? Why would it be any, any other way else? Why would it be? My, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. so, I mean, you know what? You know what? Can, 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 let, let me ask you this. Do you feel funny when you were around Sirius Jones? Uh, before, but after, um, after Jones battled, um, after Jones battled, uh, Disaster, this last time when I battled, when I battled Daylight, Mm-hmm. Um, me and DNA, it was me, DNA, Jim's. We was we was eating, and Jones was at the restaurant. You understand? And he was he was there alone. He was dolo. You know, he was doing his thing. But when we sat down, it's like, all right, niggas, you can come sit with us. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and we all talked about <laughs> the event, and we actually had a good conversation that cleared a lot of air. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Like, you gotta understand, yo, man. We see, yo, you gotta understand. All these battlers see each other. In different states, different times of the year, you know, it could be where me and fucking Thesaurus is booked for something in fucking Montreal for a weekend. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it's like, all right, yo, Pete, you're the only one I'm cool with here. Go ahead, call you on the hey, man. Let's yeah. Go, let's go chill. You know what I mean? Like, so Sirius Jones has happened with, you know, not just my guys like DNA and, and Clips and all, you know? So it's it's a matter of just being being real and being cordial with everybody and understanding that, you know, man, we all gotta work together to get to the bag. 
You know, it I is think what it is. Been, yeah. This has been a long standing issue already. You understand? And it's like three years, long. Paul. Three years. Huh? Three years. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Stop, yeah. man. This shit got to stop, but man. You know, but you know, it also weighs heavy on Diz, too. His behavior. Niggas be cool. And then Diz goes home and he just starts tweeting and he starts going on. And I think that's the that's the main thing that niggas don't want to don't niggas get tired of with him. I don't see you feel like you feel like Desi going overboard on Twitter. Oh, he definitely does. He knows he does. You know what I mean? Then he'll sit there and be like, "Damn, son, I was wilding." You know, mm. and, and, and it's it's whatever. But still, like, you know, it's not an excuse. It's like, yo. You know, that's why people feel certain ways and people be like, damn, I can't trust no more. I don't believe nothing he says because Stig is going to go back and just say some other shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it pisses people off, you know? But then there's times where it's just you chilling and disaster chilling and that nigga be cool as fuck. You know? It's just a matter of it's no excuse for what happened to math out there. It was wrong. So, all right, so you know what? So, like, like, was it a setup, or did it just happen? How it happened? Math saying, "Do it, do it, do it," or, or do you think it was a setup? She Siri, like Siri Jones said that this called in that day, whatever. But like, do you think it was an actual setup? What you mean? I mean, the whole. What? The whole what? Wait, wait, wait! What are you talking about with Siri Jones? What are you talking about? The tax stone interview, never, it's public. The tax stone interview. I just had Terry Jones on me talking about it. I ain't trying to put no shit up. But Diz called him. Diz had called him and said he, he, you know what I'm saying, like, whatever whatever he said and shit. And Jones is like, do it after the battle. But my thing about it was, do you really think it was set up like that? Or did it just happen the way it happened? I know you niggas are not oblivious to that interview. Come on, son. You didn't know about that interview? No, no, bro. I don't be watching battles. Yeah, well, that. fuck that interview. Well, well, fuck all that. But like, th- like you feel like it was set up, though. I don't think it was set up. I think. See, I you only at first. Real, I think you, you know what? Real, I'm be real. I feel, if you want uh-huh. to be real, I feel like the battle, right? To where mm-hmm. he got all his boys pumped up. Where he's like, "Yo, man, you know, if he touches me or anything, I'm gonna pop on him." And he's hyping, and he's hyping his niggas up around him, saying that. Mind you, nigga, this is battle rap. You just did total slaughter with niggas. We cool. But he still wants to take it to the, oh, yeah, but I ain't going to let him punk me on camera. You know what I'm saying? So now niggas coming to the battle to hold him down, and now niggas is like, well, boy, we ready to pop. So we ain't come here to watch you battle. Came here to see, see, see some shit go down. What's up? The minute this nigga front, what's up? Pop. You know what I mean? I feel like he was under that type of pressure. You know what I mean? And then, you know, it, it, they get into words and they start exchanging and then he's like, fuck it. I'm going to pop. You understand? And he pop. And then it's like, useless. Like, senseless. You understand? Like, there's really no justification. Disaster has been in bigger, bigger um, um, situations in battles where it could have went left other than, than, than that situation with math. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like, you know, niggas kind of like might have just put the battery in his back a little bit and he popped. You understand? When he when he knew he did, he, there was no threat. There was no nothing. The battle was over. Yeah, it was, it was like the end of that motherfucker, man. Them niggas could have went to the bar and had a drink right then and there. Yeah, and, and I've always like I always thought the worst part about that was that it was a fucking great battle too. Like I just never under, like I didn't get what you got out of doing that shit after the battle, after the battle was fire battle. like that. We just fucked up. Nah, it's more than that though. You know what it is? It's the fact that math hit two niggas, so we all look at it like so. Like I, I don't want to be all look at it. I'm just being real. So niggas look at it like, man, what you crying for? You done you done fucked up Siri Jones' image and those. But nah, when, nigga, when you really break it down, it's not. How you nah, bugging? Nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. How? You're bugging. Tell me how. You're bugging because he didn't jump nobody. But that's what I was getting ready to say. I was saying niggas is looking at it like, okay, well, it came back to you. But in reality, it's not the same thing as them two incidents. That's what I was going with. 
that they wasn't about to get jumped. So it is different. When he hit Sidney Jones, he hit Sidney Jones. And to my knowledge, that was that. When he hit those, he hit those. That niggas was long and shit, but those had niggas there. It was different when he was out there. He's on their turf. You know what I'm saying? This hits him, and it's just like now it's total chaos. He don't know what the fuck going on. He don't got. He don't know who got his back. It's different. That's why I was going with this shit. I agree with you there. But but niggas are looking at it like, oh well, you hit two niggas and you get hit, and now you're crying. Niggas is definitely looking at it like you just gotta be honest. I mean, you just gotta understand that too. How a nigga cry because the nigga say he want a fair one? Nah, I'm not saying that, but niggas are saying he keep talking about it. He wasn't the one talking about it. Hollow was. Sirius Jones wasn't wasn't running around asking for a fair one like that. Or those. They're you saying that, that them niggas let it go. You don't know they're that. battling. Huh? You don't know that. You're just going off what 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 you hear. You don't know that. You don't know what what the conversations was behind the scenes. I know the conversations behind the scenes. There's way other shit that went on with with with, with Sirius Jones other than math, more serious shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, mm. nah, nigga, like, like, you don't know that. You feel what I'm saying? You don't know what none of these niggas be saying off the camera. There's a lot mm-hmm. of shit that doesn't get to y'all. You know what I'm saying? As much as niggas talking guys up, there's a lot of shit that y'all don't know about. You understand? At the same time, niggas trying to handle shit like, man, and that's another reason why I said the shit that Hollow and Math was talking about is shit that should, should not have even been spoken of. Yeah, 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 yeah. As simple as this, they got to get back to the community. If, because Hollow says he's a changed man. If I was a changed man, I know there was a time when Hollow was with the shits. Simple wow. as that. Yo, yo, I can't even, yo, that's why I was laughing. I couldn't even really see Hollow. I thought NYB was a rap group. I'll be real with you. I thought y'all was like a battle group that was combating the Midwest movement. I didn't know y'all niggas was hanging out behind the scenes doing all that. I didn't even know all that shit. I mean, you know, that, that that's what made it so authentic, you know. And and you got to understand this. I know for a fact Hollow was with the shits. And I've seen Hollow be with the shits. The whole shit wow. started with Hollow and Diz. When I battled the Saurus and, and Sway battled um, um, Disaster, that's when the whole shit kind of first started. You understand? But I met Diz at Grizzlemania. Nigga, when I battled Real Deal and Hollow battled Ilmac and Carl battled Ilmac. You understand? Like, like that was the first time I met this. Nigga, it was cool. You feel me? So when Hollow said he had an issue with him, he was like, yo, man, this nigga's always mentioning me. This nigga's always calling me out like, yo, man, this nigga's annoying. You understand? And then they go back and forth, and then this comes out to New York, and Hollow pressed him. Matt turns around like, oh, what? There's, a, there's drama with the homie? What's up? You know what I mean? Niggas ain't yeah. pop on him, no. Niggas let him rock, and he battled Sway and had one of the best performances he had. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Nobody, nobody fucking pressed him like that. When he came up for total slaughter, <laughs> everything in that third round, math looked out for him. I looked out for him. Niggas held him down. It's no, when I battled this, niggas held me down. You feel what I'm saying? When I was mm-hmm. out there. It, it it went back and forth. It was no drama. Diz will tell you himself, there's people that he done sent to New York in, in the past, and they come see me and get taken care of. You understand? Mm-hmm. That's so mm-hmm. it was never like that. It was just a matter of, yo, he mm-hmm. let the emotions get the best of him. I think a couple of niggas put some batteries in his back that day, and shit went left. And I think it's at the point now where niggas got to settle it. If Mav can't get a bag in the West Coast, Diz shouldn't have been able to get a bag in the East Coast. And if he did get a bag in the East Coast, he shouldn't have gotten it. Some with shit. math right here, man. Without math. Mm, that's right. Yeah. 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 If you look yeah. at it, if you if you really want to look at it like that, that that's what it is. He's like, yo, I can't get oh, a bag yeah. out there. You think the Saurus is gonna take math in Cali? You think Cost oh, take a battle math in Cali? You think uh, uh, a daylight any of these things? Nah, they're not gonna do it. They're gonna, they're gonna tell this. Yo, Diz, I'm going to keep it real. I'm down the map at Traffic 3. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's like, oh, word? All right. And then it's like, hey, whatever goes down, goes down. You understand? But to do that, that's what more math was math was, math was mad about. Not necessarily battling Diz. Just like, that's how I got to find out, nigga. 
You know what I mean? Like we got mm-hmm. kids. I'm trying to feed my family too. You just put a you just put a bag in his account. If you gonna give him a bag, tell that nigga at least settle the score with me. You my man. Yeah. Hmm. That's mm-hmm. that's how you looking at it. You know what I mean? And that's how that's how I and, wasn't looking at it in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, so, bro, I, 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 yeah. I was on the set of Bodied. I was on the set of Bodied. When I battled Big K, I went on the set. Hollow called me when I landed. And he was like, yo, you out here, you battling Big K today, right? I said, yeah. He said, damn, we're all on movie set today. We're all on set. I said, yo, I'm going to go to the movie set. Because I wanted to know why I wasn't called for the movie. I, mm-hmm. told you, I knew the real reason why I wasn't called for the movie. Because of my affiliation with math. There was wow, you think so? There wouldn't have been no other reason why I wasn't casted or anything like that. There was battle rappers that was casted that, that, that weren't on my level. And I was in town. It wasn't like they had to fly me in or nothing. I was already booked. I was down in Big K that weekend. Yeah, yeah, but mm-hmm. it was a movie shoot. Why, why would that put your affiliation with like, what the do it with you being in the movie? What? Yeah. What does math have to do with you being in the movie? Well, nigga, you don't think Diz and them had some say in what battlers was going to eat and get checked? I, I hear that, but I just heard everything you just said. You cool with this. I don't see why Diz would even go that far. But, I didn't, but I'm still not going to get offered that opportunity. You understand? So see, that's corny right there. That's whack right there. That is corny. That, you get this like, oh, cool, what up? Show love, give me a pound. You feel what I'm saying? I was only on set for like a half an hour. And then, you know, I, I was like, okay, cool. I see it. We got his crack city niggas in the movie. We got certain niggas in the movie. Come on. There was no reason why I wouldn't get on set. But I respected it. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because I respected it. I said, nah, it's okay. At least I got booked out here for the K. That's how I looked at it. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I let it rock. I'm not I'm not feeling no type of way. Plus, I, I, it didn't really bother me. I'm just using it as an example of... Look at it this way. You understand? So then you think he's going to come to the East Coast and, and eat on certain things? He can't. He's not allowed in New York. He knows if he comes near, he got to settle that situation. This so is that's crazy, man. Sense. You know, you guys got to think about it just from those angles. It's not really about them beefing. It's more like, man, I want to get this shit over with already because yeah. with this nigga, this nigga was supposed to get banned. He got cash. He got this. He got that. And I'm not, I'm not sitting here to to to, to write his complaints or nothing. I'm just saying, if he's getting all these opportunities, and then then this nigga can't even get booked on traffic, or he can't get booked on anything. You know, it it, it it's it's a double standard. Yeah. You know? I want yeah. them niggas because I know from the horse's mouth what Diz said, and Diz cannot lie. He said. I want us to get it over with. We could shoot the fan one, cool, and we could all be cool again. I've had dreams about us all chilling and hanging out and being successful, and I want those those things to come to fruition. I say, cool. You just got to shoot my man the fan one. Until then, we can't be buddy-buddy and all that on camera. That's it. I see you. I keep it called you. We got to work. We got to eat. We got to do all that. But you know you was wrong, and you know you're my man the fan one. Simple. So it's not. So that's just that's period. That's not just on camera. I want to clarify because you said we can't be buddy buddy on camera. Like you still not buddy buddy I'm behind not the scenes. Be buddy buddy on camera. It's a it's a perception. No, nah, but I'm saying behind the scenes if also. You look, if you even look at when I battled Sharon in the third round, right? Okay. The first event that me that I saw disaster. Um, me and disaster had that conversation. After that conversation, I guess Sharon came to Diz and was like, hey, I'm going to mention the fact that Cortez is here and he ain't do nothing to you, and I want you to come out in my third. And if you watch the third round against Sharon, Sharon says something about the Diz shit. Now, my thing is this. We have an understanding. Camera, I don't sit there and have to tell stories about real shit that goes on and all that. Like, if I speak to you as a man off camera, that's what it is. I don't need to run to the cameras, you know, to to promote anything, you know? So, with that being said, I told this, I was like, yo, you know, don't put me in a situation where I got to feel like 
I'm feeling like niggas is trying to play me. You understand? Mm-hmm. Because of the camera games. Because of how, like, I felt like they try to put hollow on camera. And, and you know, like, unknowingly, I feel like it, it'd be a little slick shit like that. So I can't do that. So Sharon expects Diz to come out in the third. But since me and Diz had that conversation, Diz was a man of his word and didn't come out in that round. But it's yeah. Sharon. Yeah. If he would have did that, that kind of would have forced me to, like, be like, all right, fuck it, we got to fight. We got to do something. I got to pop. Because I'm not going to let, let that be, like, like done like that on camera. You understand? Mm-hmm. When I, when the battle was finished, Diz said it. He was like, yo, look, I told y'all the man of my word. You know, Sharon wanted me to get out there in the third. You see what he said? I said, yeah, I respect it. You understand? And from there, yeah, I yeah, that could have been That could have got crazy if he came out. It would have got crazy. It would have put me in a position where... I might have would have had to fight. I might have would have had to pop just because it would have looked crazy. You understand? Yeah. And it's like, we're not here for that. And I'm not saying it on some shit like, she knew better because I would have popped. I'm not saying like that. I just, I'm a gentleman and, and, and a gangster. Like, so I'm going to be square up and I'm going to tell you, like, yo, please don't put me in a position. I think about everything before I open my mouth. You understand? I'm like, don't put me in a position where I'm going to feel the way. And that's another thing that King of the Dot was worried about and leery about. But I think also that also attests to why I've been getting the looks that I'm getting and the chain belt because they see, like, I move accordingly. You understand? I can represent the chain in a certain way. I move accordingly. I really move the way I am. You know what I mean? The way I rap is the way I am. You know, and, and, and you got to respect that. You know what I mean? I stand for certain things. You know, that's why me and Matt, me and Matt can have an argument. It's not going to go to Twitter. It's not going yeah. go to go to, it's not going to go to Chambers. It's not even going to go to Hollow. We'll just have our own differences and we'll talk about it. You know? And then we let it go. Ah, oh, man, fuck that shit. Yo, what up? Other kids. You know what I mean? But I'm mm-hmm. not going to get to the point where I'm going to make a decision like that and he doesn't know. And Hollow felt like, Nigga, I reached out to you mad times. You kept dubbing me. I'm not going to keep chasing you, man. You know, I'm not going to keep feeling guilty. Look at my point of view. I turned down $20,000 on three different occasions. You know? So, it's, it's, they're both stuck between a rock and a hard place. But I just feel like they need to communicate. And I feel like they need to... Uh, it shouldn't have gotten to the point where they felt like they can't speak with each other. And they need to repair that, but it's all, it's really on hollow because hollow changed. So math looks at it like, this ain't the hollow that I fucked with. Hollow that I fucked with would have told me, you know what I mean? I'm on mm-hmm. that time. And hollow's just looking at it like, nah, man, I don't, I don't want no type of issues. I don't want no drama. I don't want no bad karma. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you still cool with hollow? Yeah, I'm cool with hollow. Spoke to him like two days ago. All right. I'm just asking this, right? All right. Hey, you know, I, I, I feel funny kind of asking this question and shit, but, like, what, at what point did you say fuck that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm going for the chain. Because the only reason I'm asking is because I remember before, you know, a couple of niggas spoke out DNA, whatever, whatever, whatever and shit. But, like, now it's like y'all, y'all, y'all want the chain. I was thinking about something earlier, and I might be wrong, and fans might kill me. But I started thinking about this shit like this. URL that there is a quote unquote NBA a battle rap, but at the same time, it's not about who the best niggas is really like that. It's about popularity, it's about money, it's about all that extra shit. That's what it's really about over there and shit. So mm-hmm. now I'm looking at I'm looking at it now like at least for the chain niggas is bound to something like and I'm not trying to say you are a uh, king of better but I'm just saying I'm looking at it like like, I'm also like, man, get the chain. Fuck that. Get the chain. Fuck all this waiting to see what's going to happen over here. Fuck that. Go get the chain. Okay. That, that's, that's what I'm really What are you about. telling me? But what are you telling me? Did you tell me but, when did but, I say fuck it and go get it? Yeah, because before you, you came on about a year ago and shit. And you said you really didn't want the chain. See, I wasn't trying to say that on air. That's my whole thing. I mean, I at the say time... That. At the time, though, I wanted to, because, like, a year ago, a year ago, I had just came off the Arsenal battle. And 
I was kind of like. No, nah, it was before the arch battle, though. Well, if it was before the arch battle, was it before the Big K battle? It was way before the arch battle. I'm trying to think. It was before the Big K. As a matter of fact, it might have been after the Big K battle. Huh? It might have been around the Big K battle. Well, you know, at that time, my my whole thing was, I, I, I last year, mid last year, the main thing for Cortez was getting the right battles. I didn't want to keep battling a lot of new niggas. After I battled Jay Murda and Cicero and and Gems, I was like kind of like done. You understand? I didn't want. I I, I was like, yo, man, this ain't getting me nowhere. I'm winning yeah. battles that nobody's caring. You understand? Uh-huh. So. When at once Sharon was the first one that started it for me. Like Sharon was the one when I told myself, Okay, I'm gonna start taking battles that count. And those are the only battles I'm gonna take and I'm gonna mix a few new ones. Remember I had said, Oh, after this year I'm not taking a lot of new faces, remember? So yeah. you know, that's when I went on the run and I took the E Ness, Chilla, two on two with Urban Ill, Sharon, Q P Big K, you know, and, and I didn't want the chain at the time because I was jumping everywhere. And I knew that I didn't want to stop. I wanted to outwork everybody. The chain is kind of like you've you got a title defense. So you might be on World Dom. You might be on Blackout. You might be on Mass. That's it. You understand? Mm-hmm. You're staying exclusive. But they're protecting your brand. But at that time, I didn't want my brand protected. I wanted to go out there and spaz on everybody. You understand? Which is what I did. Once the beat out battle happened, I knew that I was kind of in contention because I knew about the big K, you know, and and then I knew beat dot how that came out. And then I, when I got off of daylight, I just knew if I if I did my thing with daylight, people were gonna people were gonna feel like I'm in contention, you know. And that's exactly mm-hmm. what happened. So a king of that is more of a it's more of a pop up like a voting type system or what? Mm-hmm. Well, I put it in peep saying that I beat five X champs. Mm. <coughs> okay. I beat the Saurus. Uh huh. <coughs> I beat the Saurus. I beat Disaster. I beat Hollyhand. I beat Arcane. So, and, yeah. You know what I mean? I battle Ice already. You understand? And there's somebody else. There's somebody else that I might have battled. That 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 that's a champion. That was a champion. Um Damn, okay. Somebody else. But even if then 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 you just have to throw in you know, you have to throw in the the the, the Sharon battle and you throw in the, the big K battle and you throw in the the, the B dot battle and you just sit there and be like, yeah. Uh, He's, he's battled already all the top talent in, in King of the Dot, you know, mm-hmm. with the exception of the Solomon. And, you know, I kind of was really impressed with Mickey Fox, you know what I mean? So it's like... Fire. Awesome. You know? So I yeah, think there's still, there's, there's still good matches out there. And that's what I really want, you know? And that's why I feel like the best ice. It's a moment that's bigger than me and me saying, hey, I want to change. My fans want to change. The people want it because it's a vindication that says, all right, Cortez has come full circle and he's solidified. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm serious, man. I'm this shit, man. But shit, Cortez, man, I appreciate you calling up. I know it's getting late and shit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? One of the thoughts and shit. Dope interview as always, man. Congratulations. You already know, bro. Keep up the good work, bro. Word, man. We gotta bring your shit full circle, Taz. We gotta bring it full circle, man. This is a movie shit, low key. Like we gotta, you know what I mean? This is dope, bro. Word. <clears throat> That's uh, not up another shit. Oh shit, he on the front shit. Talking to you, you ready? Talking to you, we see it. Talking to you, talking to you, talking to you, talking to you.